Hi, this is Scott Manion. I'm going to um, guide you really quickly through some mock-ups of, of uh, journal ideas uh, and some uh, demo quality code. So uh, this is um, a mock-up. This is the non-functional mock-up. Um, the center pane here looks much like the um, existing journal does, uh, with the exception of tags for um, a display of the tags. Um, our graphic designer would wishes that these were rounded like the buttons over on the side here, but um, not yet. Um, these will allow you to easily remove tags. The idea is that you can drag tags from the sidebar to add them. Um, these uh, let you navigate through. Uh, there's a you'll notice that the, there's a very light slash. So there is a, a notion of an ordered path tag of some sort. That, that's kind of a um, an experimental notion. Maybe it will stay in the final version. Maybe it won't. But um, the first component of these tags is actually the file system path. But they're treated more or less like tags. Um, and uh, suggestions for what tags you might navigate to appear here, uh, which kind of magically works more or less like a hierarchical file system browser, um, if you want to think that way. But it's not required. Um, you might expect that in most new installations, there might not be any of these path tags at all. Um, this middle section here on the sidebar is for suggested tags based on your current query or things you've done recently. Um, what are the sorts of things you're likely to be interested in? And the last is a list of all the tags um, uh, that you create on the system, um, sort of very Gmail-like. Um, you can uh, select favorites among these. You can select them to do mass actions. Uh, there is the graphic styling of this widget isn't great, but there's some dividing uh, indication of uh, of time period when I did those things. Um, uh, once you select them, there are actions: copy, move, delete. That's obviously a placeholder graphic. Um, add star, make a favorite. Um, this is, again, a sort of experimental bit. The underlying search engine we use has a feature that, given a selection, selection of documents, we'll find more documents like those. So this is, you know, a placeholder graphic. Maybe something we'll do, maybe something we, we won't, but something we could do. Um, and very Gmail-like interfaces to add and remove labels. So like Gmail, um, the add label dropdown would be populated with all the labels on the system that you could add, along with an entry for making a new label. Um, I guess I think we're actually going to be consistent calling these tags, but uh, my mock-up's a little inconsistent. And remove label will be populated with all the labels that are currently attached to something you've got selected, so you can remove one of those things. Um, there's stars in the sidebar here, which is another semi-experimental uh, idea. Um, the idea is these guys here are probably um, you know they're they're just sort of hierarchical what subdirectories are part of your current search. And this is the list of all the tags on the system, so that's constant. But this middle section, which is the suggested tags, um, might vary a lot. Things will pop in and out as I do search, depending on what, what tags are, are interesting. Um, the suggestion has been made that people might want a way to sort of pin down certain ones of those suggestions that they use a lot so they can get to it easily and it won't sort of drift up and down in the suggestions box. Um, so the idea is that you could star some of these to pin them or you know to uh, make them bubble to the top maybe it's not quite clear uh, it's also not clear to me what the stars would mean over here as well um, there, maybe there's a better interface to do that like dragging a suggestion up to the top or dragging to reorder them so you guys have some control over um, where things go um, uh, but it's a incomplete idea um, over on the main sidebar this is the search widget so I can type in some search as I click on tags the um, the current search appears in the this bar. We'll see more of that later, um, and I can clear it. Uh, these are the who, what, where, and when um, buttons, uh, which I've sort of compressed to give more press more priority to the actual search bar. Um, so who would be a list of all the people you've collaborated with? Uh, there are XO icons, and I can sort of search for things that are done by that person. Um, what is document type? Things I've done in record, pippy, whatever it is. Um, again, those are the icons. I can just select one here. The search corresponding to that appears in the box, and only things of that media type real really show up. Um, where is uh, um, the way that you, <laughs> you you get to the outside world? So this is populated with the default search is in my journal, which is uh, tilde slash journal on your file system, um, which is probably a sim link or something to tilde slash desktop, because that's where most unmodified applications expect to find stuff by default. Um, I can also go to the sort of my entire file system. Um, that, that I'm using the XO man icon. Maybe there's some better icon for the NAND. 
um, and that will let me browse more of the file system and use this as a file system browser for sort of advanced users. And the remaining things are removable devices, so I can also see things on SD, on USB, uh, CD-ROM if you've got one, and I think that's a mesh icon. I'm not quite sure what that would be, um, but it makes the, the, the display nice 2 by 3 um, and then the when widget, um, this is the wrong, this is the G standard GTK calendar widget, which is the wrong widget for here, because really what you want to do, this, the GTK calendar widget lets me select a specific date, or even a range of dates, but I really want something more like the zooming interface um, uh, in the rest of the sugar UI, so that I can sort of formulate interactively queries like last week, last month, last year, um, uh, those sorts of things are, are interesting, or two months ago. Uh, and it's not entirely clear to me what that, that GUI widget would look like, but that's what I'd like to see there. Okay, so that's the mock-up. Um, in the next screencast, we'll go through an actual working uh, demonstration.